guys, it's me Stace. Welcome back to another Friday PIP, which is our Pinterest inspired project. Today we are making a super fun card. And when I first seen this one, I thought no way could I make it look super complicated, but I promise you it is very easy. So the card lays flat like this, so it's able to fit into your normal A2 size envelopes. When you lift it up, it turns into a pinwheel card. Do you see that? And there's all different kinds of panels that you can add to that. All right, so to get started on the card, you will need a piece of cardstock for the base of the card. This piece is four and a quarter by six and a quarter. You're gonna to wanna to score that at two and three quarter, three and three quarter, four and three quarter, and also five and three quarter. Then take your bone folder and give all them a nice crease. On this half inch side, you wanna take your scissors and just miter off a little bit on the corner. Then we can set that piece aside. Same color cardstock. You will need three more pieces. These all measure two and three quarter by four and a quarter. Now I'm making my own pattern paper by stamping, but you can certainly use your own pattern paper. You'll need four pieces. I have white. These all measure two and a half by four, and I did go ahead and ink all my edges on those. You'll need four more pieces of white. These all measure one and a half by four. And then another piece of white. This one is three and a half by two. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is do some stamping. The stamps that I'm using is by Mamie Made It. It is called a Cup of Cup, and I'm using a lot of these images. You want a scrap piece of cardstock and also a scrap piece of brown cardstock. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my ink. I'm using a Sahara Sand ink. And I'm gonna grab that coffee cup here. Just give that a good ink and stamp it down. And while I'm here, I'm gonna grab the sleeve part for the coffee cup as well and stamp that on my brown piece. Now we can set that aside and that aside. And now we're gonna do some cutting. These are just straight lines, so it's super easy to fussy cut around these. Doesn't need to be perfect. Close enough is good enough in my book. All right, so there's that one there. Let's do the cup. The cup. Oh, let's call it a cuppy. super easy to fussy cut them out. All right, so we're gonna move all that out of the way and we're gonna glue these two pieces together. I'm using Art Glitter Glue. I get this off of Amazon. It'll be linked below in the description box of this video. And take this and put it on the cup here. If you have anything extra on the, on the back side, just go ahead and trim that off real quick. All right, now we can set that piece aside. All right, so now we have our four panels. And I'm gonna do one at a time. So I'm first going to grab the coffee cup image and also that same brown ink. I'm gonna ink this up really, really well. And I'm gonna stamp this on an angle. And again, if you're using pattern paper, you certainly could do that as well. All right, so we have that. Then I have a little steam vent which is right here. I'm gonna ink that up and just put it right above the, cu the cup. Okay, so that one is done. Now I have the other one. I'm gonna grab the little happy face. Oops. The little happy face here. And just put this in the bottom right hand corner. This will be the spot you can write your greeting. Then another stamp set of Maymays that I really do like is called Relic. Looks like this here. It's a rather large stamp set. I'm using this large coffee ring. So I'm going to ink that up. Let me bring in a piece of scrap paper. There we go. Love that. All right, so that one is done. All right, so now this one, I want to put the greeting on there that says, This will perk you up. And that is already on my block. I'm going to stamp it right in the lower left-hand corner. And then this piece, we're going to flip it over and grab some foam squares and pop it up. And I'm just going to use the right on there. All 
And then we have one more panel left. Now because I'm using coffee stamps, I wanted to have a spot for a gift card holder. That's where this piece comes in. So I already, I three and a half by two, then you wanna score on two of the short sides and one long side at a half inch. Then you're gonna apply your sticky strip to that. And then you're going to miter the corners. Right there. I'm gonna stamp on here before I apply it to my card. And this one is gonna say, have a cup of joe on me. Now I'm gonna stamp this on a little bit of an angle, just like that. All right, now we can go ahead and close the ink. I believe we're done with this. All right, we're gonna take this, take the backing off of the sticky strip, or any kind of strong glue you like. All right, so I have it like that. You're gonna bring the two sides in first, then the bottom. Okay, and that's gonna create a pocket for the gift card to go into. Now I'm gonna just take this and line it up on the bottom of this piece here. Make sure it's nice and straight. Okay, so now we have that. All right, now to work on the card base, what you wanna do, you wanna take some sticky strip. Again, you wanna use a strong glue here. Take this, put it on there, give it a good rub, and then take the backing off of that. Now you'll see we have, if you, lift, if you put it this way to where you have that flap this way, you're gonna fold it on the second score mark. So we see one score mark here, one score mark there. Just fold it on that one. Actually, I'm sorry, you wanna fold it on the very first one. The first score mark you're gonna fold it on. That was right, the second one. So you'll see three square marks here, do the middle one. Just fold that down and flat, okay? And that's gonna create the card base. That's the piece you see inside here. Now I've seen other videos where they create this piece first and then glue the flaps on. I liked this idea better. All right, so this is gonna be the front. Now on each one of these pieces, on these sides, you have one side here, two side, three side, you wanna apply some more sticky strip. So I already did that on this one. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take my paper backing off of this one. This is the flap. Okay, take that one off and that one off. Okay, so again with that flap, you want to have the flap facing you. You'll see the three square marks here. Fold it on the middle one. Just fold it right in half and then bring this piece over. Okay, so it's the same exact thing we have here. Same exact thing, but now you can see I have the sticky strip on all three of these sides. You wanna start with this piece first, not this way, because you're gonna only have a short area here, this piece first, okay? So lay it down. I'm gonna remove the sticky strip on this one. And we're gonna lay our brown panels on this one. Then our white pieces are gonna get adhered to that. Okay, so again, it's like this. Okay, this is the front or a panel. Then you wanna put your sticky strip on all three of these panels and then lay it flat. Okay, take a brown piece, or you can use different colors. I just chose the same color and line it up on the left hand side, top and bottom, give it a good little rub. Okay, so now we have part of it. Do the same for this one. Take the strip off, or the backing off the strip. Lay it flat, line it up. Okay, then we have one more left, which is right here. Take this one, and that's going to go here, just like that. Okay, so now we have a card, okay? Yeah, with that extra glue there. Now, it doesn't really matter which, what, which side is the front, but we're going to call this one the front of the card. Okay, so this one, I'm going to put this piece on there. Again, I'm just using my art glue, glue to adhere that down. Mainly because my advanced tape glider needs a refill on the tape, and Hubby's not here to do that for me. 
So, all right, so lay that one down there. And then I'm gonna go to the next panel right here. And I believe I did, I guess we'll do the coffee cup. here straight centered okay then we have the next panel we're going to do our gift card holder and it does fit a standard size gift card I tried it earlier and I had to take it apart because I just glued the pocket down without creating that little um, half inch spacer you definitely need that spacer there for the gift card to go into and I'll show you that in a minute okay so there's that one then we have this spot for our greeting my all cards need a spot to write a personal message. So this one also has that in there. Now it's up to you if you want to leave this side of the card plain. You can just have it be like that, leave all this plain, but I can't leave it plain. So this is where our one and a half by four inch strips come in. And I did use the same stamp set and I stamped a bunch of coffee beans all over it. Lay this down, lining it up with the white next to it so it looks like it's all even. Okay, and move over to the next one. Isn't this a fun card? And so easy. And I will have the link for the original pin that inspired this on my blog, which will be linked below as well. Okay, moving on over. You know, I really do, I said before, I really do enjoy creating my own paper um, versus buying it. My, I just like it better, and, and plus it's a lot cheaper. I'm already using stuff I already have on hand. All right, our last panel, and our card is done. So not hardly long, right? Okay. All right, so there's our card. Now here's our gift card pocket. Let me find the gift card. Oh, it's in here. It's just a plastic card. This is the same size as a standard gift card. That's going to go right inside there. So they have their card with their coffee on it. This will perk you up. Have a cup of joe on me. They can pull the gift card out and you know spend at their favorite coffee shop. But there you have it. A super fun, fairly easy, um, and definitely has a wow factor pinwheel card. Any questions, guys, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.